Almost a year ago, I made a Tileman account, and it was one of the most interesting and fun ways to play RuneScape. At first, progression was slow, but that meant it was more meaningful. Small things like getting a fire staff drop were so exciting, but eventually, unlocking tiles became too easy, and the magic of the account faded. But I want to start a new Tileman account, only this time much harder. Instead of 1000 XP, each tile will cost me one total level. As I progress, unlocking tiles will get harder instead of easier. This is a much heavier restriction. Each tile I unlock will have a massive impact on the long-term direction of my account. There's a limited amount of tiles that I can spend because you literally can't get higher than a total level of 2277. So what's possible with such a small amount of tiles? Tiles that take much longer to unlock. But in my eyes, that's the magic of tile man mode. When you really can't do that much, what you can do becomes so much more exciting. I think RuneScape becomes so much more interesting when your restrictions force you to do something that no one would normally do, because it's all that you can do. I've already played like 100 hours on the account as I'm recording this, and I've done some pretty weird and niche stuff, and that's the beauty of Tileman mode. And with this new account, I want to push the boundaries of what's really possible on such a restricted account. The plan is to get enough tiles, gear, and supplies to get a fire cape on a fresh level 3 ultimate tile man. I never got one on my tile man, but for reference, it took settled 6,000 tiles. I plan to do it in under a thousand, hopefully. This is extreme tile man mode. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. 90% of products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. Every month, they introduce members to cool new products like outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more based on a preference quiz you can fill out. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but only costs you a fraction of the value. Every month, you'll get a preview of what comes inside your box, and you can decide if you'd like to keep it, swap it for a different box, or skip the whole month entirely for no charge. Bespoke were kind enough to send me some boxes to try, one of the boxes they sent was Concentrate, which comes with a nice cold brew iced coffee maker, concrete desk set, and some Boulevard bitters, great for coffee lovers. But my favorite has to be the Weekender, which comes with a Weekender bag, perfect for a weekend getaway. It's the perfect size, it fits everything I'll need, and I know I'll be using this whenever I need to pack light. So if you want to get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description or enter PIP20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash pip20. Thanks again to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. Here we go, the start of a brand new journey. We're off Tutorial Island, but I don't think I'm gonna start my journey on this tile. I've done a bunch of research and thinking, and I have a different tile I want to start on. I have completely reset my Tileman plugin and have the settings configured so it scales off my total level, but you start with 32 total levels, so I'm gonna have to go waste 31 tiles that I'll never use. I think I'm just gonna put them in this random spot. I'll never go here. No one ever comes here. All right, looking good. I have one tile available. Let's go to our starting tile and get started. Here is the starting tile. It might look a little random as I'm just in the middle of Zaya, but this is step one of the master plan. There's a ton of stuff to do here before I migrate to a different area. So I think it's finally time to start our extreme tile adventure. The first thing we need to do is talk to this woman. Dude, this account is gonna be hard, wow. Anyways, our first level in our first tile is gonna come from thieving. No, she was right there where I needed her. She walked away as soon as I logged in. She could probably like smell me. <gasps> yes. Okay, here we go. All right, this woman is now stuck here and I can just pickpocket her. And I failed. Tiles are actually going to be easier at first. 83 XP until the first level where I get my first tile. Instead of a thousand. So for the first like, I think like 20-ish levels, it's actually easier. <gasps> yes. Okay, we got her again. We got her again. Come on, please let me pickpocket you. One. No. Okay. Please don't move. Please don't move. Yes. Okay. She's still here. Can I get my first tile? Please. 51 XP to go. I got her again. I got her again. This could be it. This could be the first unlock. One, two, three. Okay. She's staying here. Four, five, and six. Level two thieving, our first tile unlocked. Now I have a tough choice to make, I could either go east or west, but I think I am going to make the choice and head towards the castle area over there as there's a ton to do over there. And there is our first tile unlocked. 
I am getting so lucky with my pickpockets. There's level three already. Another third tile. Look, I can run. This is so fast. 1,000 thieving XP gained. Normally we would have just unlocked our second tile, but I have nine tiles unlocked already. These first few levels are a lot easier, but I, I can't even imagine when it gets to the higher levels, this is gonna be insane. Dude, why do these guys hate hands so much? <laughs> what a weird thing to be protesting. I'm very close to 60,000 subscribers, and if you wanna follow the series, consider subscribing. It helps me out a ton. Thanks. Level 10 thieving. I gotta say, these levels are getting noticeably slower pretty fast. We're just at the 90 minute mark, which means it's like a level every 10 minutes, which isn't too bad right now, but it's getting way worse. Level 12. This is getting rough. Jesus Christ. Can you screenshot whatever you're doing? I need something to watch, bro. You wanna know what I'm doing right now? Watch this. I'm sitting here waiting for my HP to regen. <laughs> oh, my first random event. Captain, oh, I thought it was Captain Arab, Arnav. He could give me something pretty, pretty good, pretty drippy. I think he can give me some gold stuff. Oh, that's like the best thing. A gold necklace. Yo, damn, dude. It looks really, really clean. Is that like from GPU mode? It looks really good. Wow. Oh, I think I'm gonna get a level here. It's been like two hours since I made a clip. Probably more. There's 18 thieving. Yes, feels good. 20 thieving. I've been waiting hours for this moment. I've been saving up tiles. I have 10 available tiles. That's so many. I can walk so many tiles west. We are currently at three hours. No, that's not right. Almost four hours. Wow. Ooh, a random event. Sadly, I can't do this one. I'm not going to waste like eight tiles to do this because every tile counts, especially with this account. I really can't afford to waste any tiles. And let's use all of these 10 tiles. Oh, it feels so good. I'm moving. I get to move so far. Wow, we're right at the base of the steps. Up these steps is the promised land. There's so much to do up there. But I got to get back to thieving. These levels are not going to thieve themselves. Oh my gosh, this is getting brutal, man. 25 thieving. Five tiles available. I think I'm going to go for another 10. So five more to go. Okay. <laughs> Finally, 30 thieving. These levels are getting really long. They're taking, it's, it's taking like an hour per tile, but I can finally do this. Oh, I can walk up the stairs. Let's do it. Oh, this is so satisfying, bro. Oh my, this, these 10 tiles have taken so long and I'm finally in the town square. There's so much to do here. I want to get to this baker's stall so I can start thieving cakes. So I'm going to put my last tile here. Another 10 tiles to get to the baker's stall. And I think that would literally take like 20 hours. I'm literally getting <laughs> 1.2K, probably like 1.5K an hour now. I've been logged in for 11 hours straight, just thieving <laughs> this woman over and over again. I've taken 5,000 gold pieces from her. <laughs> but I'm going to figure out what I need to do because this is just so many like, hours per tile. I think I'm going to figure out something different to do, but I've been playing for 11 hours straight. So I think it's bedtime. Like I was saying, there's currently a huge problem with my account. Tiles are getting very hard to get. My thieving XP per hour sucks because most of the time I'm not thieving. I am completely reliant on my HP regen. Thankfully, the solution is only a little over 10 tiles away. The cake stand is an infinite food source. I don't know how the baker bakes so quickly, but cakes respawn every couple of ticks. The only problem is getting to the cake stall could take days of pickpocketing men with my current XP rates. But if I train a different skill, the same 10 total levels can be much faster. The only other skills I can train on the NPC I have available to me are combat skills, which will be much slower XP per hour than thieving, but probably more tiles per hour. All right, oh, I hit the first attack. Let's go. Double in a row. Three. Wait, I'm getting really lucky. Every time I roll a hit attack, since I can only hit a one, it's just a 50% chance that I'll even hit a one. And it looks like it's going pretty well. I think these have seven health, so it'll be 28 XP per kill. This kill is going very surprisingly well. Oh my gosh, she is getting smoked. 
Okay, this is a way better plan than I thought it would be. I thought I would be in shambles here. You can also pick up the bones and bury them, and maybe eventually I'll get a, a single prayer level. Wow, this is going great. Okay, this kill is not going as well. <laughs> That's how RNG works, I suppose. So when I get to two health, I think I'm just going to run all the way over here. I want to see where she like loses aggro, so I'm going to slowly inch my way to the left. And is she still attacking me? Yep. Still attacking. All right, so right past this fence, she no longer is interested. So that's nice to know. There we go, the first level to attack. This took me 15 minutes to get, but I think I'm gonna go to strength. I probably should have been training strength from the get go. I do want to be able to hit a two. Maybe I can kick a two at like level five strength. Oh, she even spawns next to my tiles. Oh, that is so nice. I don't have to wait around to attack her. I can just attack her on spawn. Please give me the strength level before I have to regen HP. Oh, oh, let me move, let me move. Oh my God, that strength level almost got me killed. Jesus, all right, there's two strength. Why not move on to defense next? Hey, 15 minutes later, two defense. It almost happened again. Jesus Christ, the level up messages. I'm going to move to strength because I want to be able to hit twos. It'll make my XP an hour go up a lot. Right now I'm getting like 300 XP an hour, which is pretty terrible. But 300 XP an hour has never felt so good. A clue scroll and chaos runes. I'm going to keep all the runes I get because training magic on this account is going to be incredibly hard, but I need to be able to do it. What does this clue scroll say? Will I ever be going to the Alcarid mine? Probably not. Goodbye. I hit a two. Oh my God, I didn't even realize I get four strength. Oh my gosh, hitting a two unironically changes a lot. <laughs> not everything, not quite everything, but this will be a lot faster. Like the amount of XP per hour goes up substantially. I can probably get to like seven or eight strength within like the hour. Oh, our first hit points level. Not only am I training all of these strength attack and defense, I'm training hit points at the same time. So even more tiles unlocked. We only need one more. We're so close. Oh, I don't want to die. 40 XP until we can unlock the cake stand. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yes, six strength. After I kill this woman in, in game, of course, I can finally go not be HP regen locked. I can go get a source of food. So, so necessary, bro. I've spent, I think, how many hours has it been? Probably like 13. Yeah, 13 hours. A lot of that is just waiting for HP to regen. It's such a big, <laughs> it's the biggest limitation of my account. I'm going to bury all these bones so I have room. I don't think I'll get a prayer level. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, this is going to be pretty annoying because I think this guard is going to yell at me. So I have to wait until he's not close. There's two guards, man. All right, there's all the bones used. Oh my God, one more bone and I would have been at a prayer level. I think I'm going to eventually get around. It's what, five more tiles, but look at this. He gets mad at me. I can steal one and then I have to run away. At least I can eat to full health. So every time I have to do that, that is rather annoying. He has to be far enough away where I can spam click and I can still steal it before he gets in range. And then I run away. So for now, getting food is really, really annoying. Ah, oh, look at my inventory, man. Step one of the grand master plan has been completed. It may have taken 14 hours, but I have infinite food now, and it's time to start on step number two. Now that the first step of the mega plan is in the books, let's talk about step number two. If we're gonna get a fire cape, there's no getting around the fact that I need 43 prayer for overheads. Luckily for me, right next to the cake stall I just unlocked, there's a massive dungeon filled with hundreds of monsters to explore and farm. This is what I'll be investing all of my tiles into for the foreseeable future. There's so many different pockets of monsters that drop powerful armor and weapons, give tools that unlock new skills, or are just good for farming XP and tiles. The only problem is I'm like level six with no weapons or armor. A bronze med helm? Ah, don't mind if I do. A little defense bonus. Maybe I'll use a little bit less food. Almost six attack. I'm hitting level. I'm hitting twice. Hitting twos with a 
on attack style is pretty nice. So I think I'm going to get 10 attack first. And then I'll probably get to 10 strength. 10 attack. We already have 12 tiles available. Oh my gosh. I got a prayer level, an HP level, and a bunch of attack levels. This is great. I think I'm going to get to 10 strength. We'll have about 15, maybe 16 tiles available. Probably 16. We'll get four prayer. And we'll unlock our first prayer, which doesn't really do anything, to be honest. 10 strength as well. Let's go. We have 17 tiles available. So many tiles that we can use. So many tiles at our disposal. I think this might be one of the most exciting unlocks that I plan to do on the account. Dude, there's so much stuff in there. I'm so excited. I think to be efficient, we're going to unlock this like diagonal path. Looks like it's going to be five tiles to get in. 11 more tiles available. Is that even enough to get to a monster? There's so much in here. Look at the map, bro. Look how much text is on the map. This place is going to be my home for the next hundred, maybe couple hundred hours. There's so much to do, but I think the first thing we're going to make our way towards these skeletons. I'm going to be walking on these tiles a lot, so I'm going to choose them very carefully. Oh my gosh, we're already basically out of tiles. Wow. Five more left. Looks like I need to unlock some more tiles, but I need to train anyway. My stats are still really low. Oh, an iron dagger. I was AFK. The first weapon on the account. Well, I don't think this will help at all. How much melee strength does this give? Let's find out. Four melee strength and five stab bonus. <laughs> it's, it's not much of an upgrade. I'm not going to lie. Very, very minimal, but it's better than literally nothing. So I'll take it, I guess. Oh, I, <laughs> I was talking shit that I immediately hit a three. Okay, <laughs> I take it all back. I love this iron dagger. 15 strength. The XP is coming along so fast now. All right, 10 tiles available. Hopefully I don't have to beat up this poor woman anymore. This is the most I've ever interacted with a woman in my life. I'm not going to lie. But hopefully it's at an end. 10 tiles. Is this enough to get to a new monster to kill? Okay, do I, I think I want to go to the skeletons. Level 22 or 28. I think the skeletons will be more useful. But I think the hill giants will drop a better weapon. I'm at least going to go to right here. 7 tiles so I can go in there. Oh, this is such a hard decision, bro. I think I'm going to go to the hill giants and try to get a better weapon. Wow, that looks weird. <laughs> Look at that tile. It's like on the second floor. That is so weird. I think I need to keep two tiles available. Hopefully, the... actually, I think this is as close as it can go. Can I, will it attack me here? And I run back and I think the loot is going to spawn on a really bad tile. I think it's going to be like on this tile. So I'll have to use a tile to get the loot, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to need a full inventory of food to even take down a hill giant. So I'm going to go grab some more food. Okay, I have like no run energy. Go ahead, get out of your guard. Full inventory of food. Hopefully this is enough to kill one hill giant. Please, man. <laughs> Can I kill a singular hill giant with this amount of food? Let's find out. Maybe I need to train a bit more on, on that poor woman before I <laughs> kill this hill giant. A limpwort root. Okay, so I think I'm going to unlock this tile. To be able to pick up the big bones and the loot that I get from these hill giants. Honestly, a pretty cozy little investment of tiles. I should be able to get to 43 prayer doing this. Once I get better stats, it'll be a lot better. But for now, oh my god. It is a... <laughs> it takes a while. I can probably do one more, one more kill. Okay, two kills. I think I'm going to go back to trading my stats on the woman. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've killed her... 127 times, but I really need better strength and attack levels before I do this because that is taking a long time. Maybe I'll train on these skeletons, but but I need to go get some tiles at that woman still. Maybe I'll get like 25 strength, 25 attack. Level 20 strength. I think I'm going to get some attack levels up, maybe 10 more attack levels. And then I think I'm going to go try those skeletons. Maybe they're a little bit easier to kill than uh, those hill giants. We'll see. Hey, that's 10 prayer. We're on our way to 20 attack. We got 18 tiles available. This is the, by far the most I've ever had. There's 20 attack. 24 tiles. Not bad. But I really need a better training spot because I killed it so fast that I'm just sitting here waiting for it to respawn for so long. The majority of my time is just spent doing nothing. So I'd really like to go to the skeletons. I'm going to get another full inventory of food and hopefully they'll be easier than the hill giants. Maybe I'll get some defense levels so I can be a little bit more resilient. 
Let's walk into this skeleton room. I think they're pickaxes. Dude, what if I just kill one of these really quick for an iron pickaxe? I think that might be a play. Just walk some of these tiles like this and maybe I can, after I kill this skeleton. Oh, it is messing me up though. I really need defense levels. Jesus. It's hitting me every hit. Yeah, I'm gonna train some defense levels on these. My God, I'm actually hitting quite often though. I got 20 attack, so it's probably helping a lot. Kill a few of these and hopefully I can get an iron pickaxe. I think they guaranteed drop an iron pickaxe and that'll be better than this iron dagger. Oh my God, I'm almost dead. Okay, wow, this is a battle. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. Huge upgrade alert. Iron Medhelm. Speaking of training defense. Goodbye, Bronze Medhelm. I look like a beast, bro. I look like an absolute beast. Okay, let's try to get a pickaxe on me. Yes. Okay, I have so many cakes. Surely I can kill this thing. This is going to be an epic battle. Holy... A skeleton came and joined in. What is this, man? That's so not fair. Dude. This is so insane. Oh my god, this is such an intense battle. Is it one fourth? These are so hard to kill. I don't even think I can kill this. I think it's I think I might I need to run. Okay. I'm I only have like 10 food left. I don't even have that half health. Wow, I need to train even more to kill those things. Holy. I thought I could kill a level 50. I'm not going to lie. I guess I'm only level 20. Level 20 is not enough, I guess. I think I just got six hour locked again. A classic when I start one of these accounts. <laughs> I just get addicted to it and play it for 10 hours straight. How many hours are we at now? Do we're at like 17 hours. Jesus Christ. I've been playing for like two days straight, basically. Hey, there is 20 defense. Hopefully that means I will be hit a lot less because getting cakes right now is currently a really annoying process. I think it's time to train some strength though. Gaining some max hits is definitely the most important thing right now. Oh my gosh, I just two hit that lady. I really need a better weapon and a better NPC to hit, but for now, <laughs> it's getting... <laughs> Like, the majority of my time is just standing here. It's so bad. But I really can't kill any uh, anything down there yet. Maybe at 25 strength, I'll try again. Yes, the quiz master. This is what I've been after. I think I can unlock one tile. So I'm going to waste one tile because the mystery boxes can be so good. Like, the potential is, is very crazy. Okay, mystery box. We have that random unlocked forever now. I got a clue scroll. No. Okay. Well, and now I messed up my spawn. So I, <laughs> I, I'm go always going to do that random and get the mystery box. It's like a little loot box. Me. If I can get a mithril scimitar, that would be so sick. A steel plate body is insane too. Hey, 25 strength and 150 total level on the account. Very nice. I think I'm going to go mess around in the catacombs and I really want to get a better weapon. I'm going to try to kill the possessed pickaxes. Can I flinch it? Oh yes, this is such a huge discovery, bro. I don't have this tile unlocked, but I can probably get it down to like five health or so and then untrap it so I can pick up the loot. But wow. Oh, that's so big, I can flinch it. Oh, I can actually kill this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get a huge upgrade. Yes, it's the last thing I'll ever have to kill with an iron dagger. Bro, the skeleton's lining up to kill me, bro. This is... I had to kill these two skeletons before I can go back to flinching this thing. It's like, well, it's like 60% health, but oh my gosh, this is annoying. Okay, it's really low, so I think I'm just going to finish it off normally so I can pick up the loot. Please kill it fast. One more hit. Come on. Come on, then. Accuracy is so bad. Okay, thank God. Iron pickaxe. Yes! <laughs> It took me so long to train and beat that thing, but finally, the accuracy, let's see. Huh? It's the same accuracy, bro. Oh no, I thought I was gonna get a major upgrade. It's still plus three melee strength, but I don't think that'll give me a max hit with the <laughs> really low strength level that I have. I was really looking for an accuracy upgrade. Damn it. Oh well, 
it still, you know, looks cooler. And, oh, you know, I have a pickaxe unlocked, so I can go mine. Uh, but I don't really need any tiles right now. I just need, I need levels, man. I will need tiles in the very near future, but I really just want to be able to get some upgrades and be able to survive these skeletons for longer. Oh! Oh my god, an axe. That is huge. Is that an upgrade? Slash? No, it's like the same thing. Well, I can go woodcutting now. If I ever get to a tree. If I ever need some more tiles, let's put that in our back pocket. Why do I take my helmet off? These skeletons I'm actually kind of able to kill. I'm, bar I'm holding the bones. I've killed three. Look at this. Every time I bury a bone, I get a prayer point. I love the catacombs. An iron axe. It's pretty good. <gasps> yes! That's the drop I was looking for. Yes, these drop air runes. I mean, I, it's one of many drops, but this is how I'm going to have to train mage. These have an uncommon drop of air runes, and now I can wind strike. How cool is that? More than wind strike, I can train mage, but I also can hit things that are, you know, not next to my tiles. So it's really nice for tagging things that I want to melee that are outside my tiles, which doesn't have a use now, but I think it will in the near future. Oh, I just got my thieving level from getting this inventory of food. I also think I'm going to make the executive decision and mark, not mark, and unlock all of these tiles because, oh my God, having to run back and forth is so so annoying now i can get a full inventory of cakes without it taking 20 minutes <gasps> no way oh okay fuck the pickaxes i got an iron sword let's go i got a real weapon and not like a skilling weapon let's check the stats on this thing six stab oh my gosh one stab better no way how is it how is a sword only one thing better than a pickaxe that actually makes me kind of mad <laughs> what that is crazy well i can use the pickaxe when i want to do crush i guess <laughs> it's the, the axe to do slash wow i got all three combat styles here <laughs> i'm gaming that is so ridiculous i thought it was gonna be way better i got really excited i thought i thought things were looking up and the stupid pickaxe is on me again Oh my goodness, this is so difficult. Why is this so difficult? Ooh, a bronze bar. I think this is my last kill of the trip. I'm going to save every bronze bar that I get for a little bit because I can unlock an anvil pretty close to me. And I have an idea on how to get a hammer so I can train some smithing. Yes, more air runes. I want to get like a hundred something air runes so I can use all these mind runes with them. It'll be so nice. I really, really need to get <laughs> my magic up. If I want to teleport out of here. Huge level incoming. 30 strength. That makes 30 attack and strength. I have so many air runes. 60 air runes. That should be enough for now, I think. My DPS is getting a lot better. I can kill like 10 to 15 skeletons per trip. So I feel pretty confident that we can actually start farming the hill giants now. So we can finally start working towards the main goal of step number two and getting overheads. But these bronze bars are really, really crowding my inventory. So I need to do something with them soon. But I've been playing for like another 12 hours straight. I'm going to thieve some cakes and I'm going to head to bed.